Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, back with another Men of War Assault Squad 2 Star Wars Galaxy at War mod video. And today we have actually another bridge battle, this time on Megito. People are really liking the bridge battle uh, scene these days, so I mean, might as well deliver what people are looking for. So I thought we'd, uh, we'd give it another try here. So. Um, we do have this very very long bridge here and obviously the clones as you can probably tell from the title are trying to hold it and defend the bridge They've got a bunch of these um, Galactic marine troopers with blast shields, which is pretty sick in my opinion uh, They've also got one TX 130 T and two of these repeater turrets right here uh, and then of course ah, they've got um, Galactic Marines covering the sides of the bridges and the back um, not to mention they've got this raised platform here with more galactic marines uh, They've even got some like chain gunners here and there They have one of these large-scale artillery pieces which can fire that way or this way and it needs to fire this way because There's a second unit of droids a smaller amount, but uh, still a sizable amount coming on to the clones flank this way and um, the clones are gonna have to guard this way too. The clones also have less troopers on this side, so it's even. Um, so we've got more clones defending over here, um, and then more up on this platform on this direction, some back here too. Really just this entire platform is covered in clone troopers. And then finally, the final objective for the droids is to get to Commander Bakara within his command center right here, and he's being guarded by some more galactic marines, a few officers in here too. Um, this is is where the important decisions are made so the droids are trying to get to here um, so yeah it should be a really fun battle let me know if you guys want to see more bridge battles because they've been um, definitely popping off on my channel as of late so um, you know if you guys want to keep seeing them I'll, I'll be happy to oblige regardless guys I'll be right back and we can get this started all right you bad Larry's let's go ahead and press start here um, looks like the droids didn't get far before incoming clone fire and the two super battle droids I had in the front there instantly getting KO'd by the, uh, I think it must have been that clone TX-130T that, that shot them. We see the, uh, riot gear troopers, not really riot gear, blast shield troopers utilizing their shields on their wrists. A few of them going down, but the majority of them still alive. They seem to be retreating back. Uh, towards the back lines a little bit trying to get behind the TX 130T as there's just a lot of droid fire coming in right now So they're they're getting hurt pretty bad Hopefully these guys live for a bit because I think they're really cool units one turret over actually both turrets are already Immediately going down looks like this particle turret in the back though um, This artillery piece is still alive, which is good the flanking units for the droids also over here are coming into contact with their uh, their clone adversaries. They seem to have lost maybe a fourth of their units so far, but they've made some progress on the clones over here. We'll see if they make more. Uh, this will be an interesting thing to keep tabs on. But let's go back to this battle over here. Um, clones getting fully engaged with the droids and... Oh, there's a lot of droids down here. Um, that's a little surprising. It seems like the droids are trying to use these... Um, ice caps to like cross over we'll see if they have any success with that um, but there's still plenty of droids on the bridge itself also firing into the clones which is good to see this TX 130T is like spinning around which is kind of odd um, perhaps it's worried about droids or something oh it might be worried about the droids in the back I'm not fully sure but uh, it should really be facing this way and getting some shots off at the main force of droids though it's um Sirens are going off, which means it is pretty low on health. The AAT over here seems to be still alive and still firing, actually, at that TX-130T. It just got a nasty hit on it. That was, that was pretty dece, but the TX-130T is fighting back. Not too many clones left alive on the bridge itself over here. There's one right here. Um, that's about it, actually. Really, just the TX-130T and that one clone manning the bridge currently. But there's still more around the outskirts of the bridge ready for uh, the droids to get nice and close but preliminary defenses are sort of crumbling here droids still pouring fire into that tx-132 trying to take out looks like the aat was actually destroyed um nice work clone tank and there goes the clone tank though so that's tough no more tanks for this battle all right this artillery piece seems to be concentrating on the droids over here which is kind of interesting um, droids over here are losing more and more troopers, but they're, they've still got enough to put some pressure onto the clones, and they have actually certainly taken out quite a number of clones themselves, so 
pretty even battle over here. I'd say the clones are doing a successful job of keeping these droids suppressed and on the bridge itself, not letting them come onto the main platform here, which could be key to this battle. If the if the clones can keep them back, then, then we could see some good things. All right, let's go to the main bridge. Ooh, this guy, just as we looked away, just started firing off his chain gun. Let's see this thing in action. No, he's suppressed. All right, we'll, we'll wait a second. There we go. Look at him firing off into the droids in the distance. Hopefully this guy go doesn't go down too early. He'll be a hefty target as he'll be hitting a lot of droids and droids tend to target whoever is shooting at them at the time and actually getting hits on them. So this guy is going to be a primo target, um, but he could also do a lot of damage for the Republic if he manages to stay alive. And he's got some Galactic Marine friends with him, supporting him, having his back, probably diverting a little bit of droid fire, which is nice. Let's check back in on these ice caps. Droids still seem to be over here. Some of them over this way are like making it, I guess. I don't know, maybe they'll find Captain America in there. Who knows? Haha, <laughs> topical Avengers reference. Hilarious, Daily. Um, <laughs> Ten-year-old reference, but that's fine. All right, so the droid's still losing some troopers on the bridge, but they are making better progress now, and they're actually managing to... Um, really sort of start to subdue and suppress the clones, but I think the clones will really have something special for the droids when the droids get to the platform itself, because once the, dro the droids get to like this area here, all of these guys on the side will manage to open up at the, um, the droids right there in a fairly nice choke point, unless they die now. Oh, and another chain gunner here. I can't remember how many chain gunners I put in. There's also all these guys over here too. The clones have have not given up this area quite yet. And there's not even too many droids on the bridge. Look at all the, the ones that were already killed. Um, are there... This guy died. He might have died from the droids on the bridge, though. Or maybe even the guys under. I don't know what these guys are... What their aim is. We'll, we'll let them do their own thing. Alright, and then there's... These guys up here, whose DC-15Cs seem to just now be getting into range of the droids, so they're helping out with some suppressive fire. Huge explosion over here, taking out a multitude of droids. That must be this gun, um, which is now rotating back around this way. It seems to be a little bit perplexed as to what to do. I don't think it knows if it wants to support the clones over here or on the main bridge. These droids over here are actually making a very hefty push forward. These guys could be just a solid flanking unit for the droids and um, they could cause some serious damage. Looks like Bakara's units in here are actually becoming engaged a little bit um, in the battle just as an attempt to keep Bakara alive a little bit longer. We'll move him over to the side so he's not in the doorway just because I like to have the the commanders live a little bit longer, um, if possible. It doesn't really affect the battle in the long run, but um, we just get to see him throughout more of the battle. All right, a little bit of quiet here, less firing as um, droids sort of have managed to subdue most of the clone positions in the early meeting points, but there's still a lot of area that the, uh, the droids are gonna have to cover. They need to take out this artillery piece, and it seems like they are kind of gunning for it a little bit. Um, but if they can kill that trooper there, they will be home free to get onto this platform. But as it is right now, they're taking so many losses because of that thing being able to just absolutely nail them. Which is brutal, brutal, brutal. Um, is this chain gunner? No, the chain gunner over here died. Oh, that's kind of sad. Rip the dream. Man, this, this thing is brutal. I've been seeing the, uh, well, it doesn't have the best aim. It's sort of missing the large clusters of droids. I've been seeing every once in a while droids actually shooting at this thing, but they're not committing a whole lot. I think they want to take out the ground troopers first before focusing on that. I don't know, but that's not what I would be prioritizing. Are there still droids down here? Yeah, droids down here are just swimming around. I've always wondered, are battle droids, uh, I think I've asked this in previous videos, if they are waterproof. I know they have, like, aqua droids and things like that, but, like, are these regular B-1 battle droids waterproof? Or are they just, like, water-resistant, you know? Because there is a difference there. All right, these droids over here making large pushes forward, and Leon is getting larger. Um, let me know if you get that reference. I don't know. Um, but these droids have finally made it onto the main platform over here. And uh, here we go. Bakara is still alive, but his troopers in here are sort of going down. He himself is getting suppressed. Actually, a couple grenades going out. Oh, that's from these clones over here. They decided to yeet a few towards those droids. Droids still suffering, actually, quite a number of losses over here. Wait, did Bakara just go down? Oh, no. He's just suppressed. Okay. 
Stay alive, my friend. Stay alive. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I almost want to try and, like, escape Bakara, but I'm not going to interfere. His fate is what he makes of it. His friend just died. Oh, lots more grenades going off over here, taking out a number of droids and clones. Oof, oof, oof. Is this thing... This thing is still kicking. Really, really rough for the droids that they... Look, they're firing at it. They're just not getting that kill. And uh, these guys down here are still not helping. Um, they actually have like a pathway to this area over here. And then they could shimmy their way up here. They don't seem to want to do that. A few riot troopers are still roaming around. That's hilarious. Still combating a few of the droids on the bridge. Oh, man. That cannon is just... Just brutal. Oh, my God goodness god these droids need to kill that thing all right for the sake of having the battle continue we're just gonna straight up order them to target it they weren't even able to get the kill when i told them okay let's see can you guys get this kill on that thing it is kind of a far distance for regular blasters i just like to see the droids... There we go. They finally killed the gunner on that thing. He did a good job. But I just wanted to see the droids actually make it up here. These droids over here are doing phenomenally. Um, they did take out Bakara. There's his body sort of crippled right there in the fetal position. There's still three clones. Well, two clones and an officer. I'd imagine that officer is a clone trooper himself. Hey, nice kill right there. Um, but there's a lot of droids looking to enter into that office space right there. Then there's also a bunch of clones back here, too. Um, and then some more around here, here. A couple more roaming shield units. I'm impressed that these guys managed to live so long. I guess they did kind of just run away, though. All right, main platform still being assaulted by the droids, but they have yet to even make it past this point here. So kudos to the clones. Um, and there's still more clones over here. Look, there's machine gunners over here. A couple of standard riflemen and SMG units over here. Officer, SMG unit. Like, this bridge could be on lockdown. We could just not see the droids make it past this point on this side. The real problem is these droids over here, which are just making the big push. Um, they eliminated one of the clones in the office over here, but two still remain. We'll see if they actually even go in there. They could just push their way that way instead. Not totally sure. They do seem to be skirmishing with those clones over there. Um, actually managing to nail a few of them. Oh, this guy's going in, but he gets gunned down. That could be a solid choke point with a lot of droid deaths if these two manage to, like, sort of keep up their positioning. We'll see. We'll see. Might not be uh, happening. And then there's a bunch of clones up here still, actually. Most impressively. Just sort of this head-on clones, which is crazy. Uh, the droids made it to new icebergs over here. <laughs> I think these guys are hilarious, honestly. I don't even I don't even know where like some of them went. I wonder if they can go up that way. I just want to test with one droid. Can you make it? Oh, they can go that way. So I don't see why they don't. Maybe they will reorient themselves if things sort of go quiet for a bit, but I don't know. I don't know, a couple droids over here. They're they're playing it smart now. They're utilizing the bridge's side to get some cover and lay down some fire at the clones. I think they're trying to whittle down clone numbers before they make that last push onto the platform itself, where I think they know they're going to experience quite a bit of resistance. So um, best to just play it smart as it is right now and um, see what they can do. They're actually engaging with some of the free-roaming uh, riot troopers. They got one. This might be the last one of the free-roamers left alive, actually. Just him. All of his... I want to say brave, but it was kind of cowardly to run off. All of their tactical retreating brothers are uh, are down. It's just him now. All right, let's check back in over here. Have the droids made progress in here? No. These two still alive. Still kicking. Um, but the droids do seem to be focusing up here now. One officer defiantly with his pistol trying to take on this droid. He does manage to get the kill. He gets grenaded, ducks out of the way, he's taking some fire from droids, his friend's in the back, helping him out a little bit, he gets back into position, continues to fire with his pistol, let's see if he can get some droid kills, it'd be very cool to see that, I think officers are 
really cool units, and they're very underused by me, so I, I think I should start using them a bit more, but he does get gunned down. I don't know, it's cool to see that sort of variety in units in the battles and stuff like that. These droids now engaging with a couple more clones that are a bit farther away over this way. There's actually a whole batch of them over here, um, virtually untouched by the battle right now, as... Uh, well, they're in sort of peak position for the back lines of the clone army, so uh, they've sort of been in relative safely this whole time. Let's see, we got an E5 rifle trooper over here, as well as uh, a standard E5 trooper right over here. He gets gunned down, but his buddy's still back there. There's also some droids sort of swarming around this way. Looks like he might be engaging with these troopers over here. Um, you might be noticing that there are riot troopers over here, but these are simply... Um, ah, Messing with the camera position, never a good idea. Um, these guys are static riot position troopers. I keep switching with, between saying riot troopers and uh, blast shield troopers, but whatever. You get my gist. Um, but those aren't the free roamers. I did scatter some randos across the map, but uh, the, the free roamers are different. I do kind of want to do like an entire battle with just blast shield troopers. That'd be really cool. I don't know what the scenario would be. I suppose like a Coruscant Uprising would make sense or something like that. Or a ship defense would be cool, but haven't haven't done it quite yet. There's a lot of ideas that I want to do, but I just haven't yet. It's a shame. I don't know. Sometimes when I sit down to make a video, like I'll have a really cool idea in my head and I'll be like, oh man, I can't wait to do it. And then I sit down and I'm like, but at the same time, I could do this idea instead and then I do that idea and the other one gets put on the back burner. Some ideas require a lot more effort and like mental capacity to figure out how to do it in game and it takes a long time to set up like sometimes an hour or two so I tend to go this actually this took like an hour to set up. This wasn't bad because I was chilling listening to some music but this one took a little while to set up because I had to get the balancing right for the for this battle it was kind of a, a tough one but I think I got it in a good position where either side could win in the end. Um, but then, oh my god, the droids are traveling across the icebergs, they're finally doing their thing. <gasps> Reinforcements could be on the flank soon, guys, just you seven or eight clones over here hold out a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, like, um, I have so many ideas that I really want to do and that were suggested by you guys, but they would just take a, a lot longer than a standard video for me to do. So I usually only do like one or two of my special idea videos a week um, instead of all of them. So I don't know. We're figuring it out as we go. Uh, these droids seem to be refocusing towards their final objective of this office space over here. Um, let's see. What are, the, are these guys pushing forward? Yes. Oh my god. They might be in flanking position very, very soon. They just got to make it up to here. Um, and on the main bridge, the droids have come a little bit closer to, and they're starting to engage once more. Let's see. It did disrupt those droids who were flanking a little bit, which is a shame, but hopefully they'll still make their way up there because I'd love to see that flank. That clone who was hugging this uh, little beam here finally died after ages. All right, so what's the farthest? I think the farthest the droids made it is this guy who's still alive right here. Impressive, impressive. Very nice, very nice. All right. What happened over here? Looks like the droids finally took it. I do see a lot more droid bodies here, though, but they did overrun the position. So uh, kudos to them. They did finally take it, but uh, they lost a lot of droids just attacking this one little building here. Like a lot. So... It's a shame. The flankers are... Well, these flankers, not the other ones. Oh my god, it's the free-roaming riot trooper! Look at him, he's hunting the droids. Okay! There goes the free-roaming riot trooper! Um, yeah, these... Oh my god, there's an interior here? These doors open? I literally didn't know that. That's insane. Oh my god. Oh. Next time I use this map, I gotta remember that. That's crazy. I literally didn't know that. Look at these droids. They, oh, they finally made it onto the platform. They actually did it. And we've had some flankers over here, clearly, as there's some dead droids around this part. So, way to go. These guys finally did what they were trying to do for the past 20 minutes on the ice. They, most of them still haven't, but that's okay, you know. <laughs> they'll, they'll do it at their own pace. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, here we go. They're, they're attacking these guys up here. Nice. These these troopers here, they have not had a lot of soldiers for 
the last like six or seven minutes, but they've stayed alive and they've actually continuously managed to outdo the clones. What is this grenade? Is that from, oh, there are droids on the inside here now. That's wild. Um, so props to these droids on this bridge. They played it safe and they managed to keep their wits about them and survive up until this point, which is wildly impressive given the terrible odds they've been under. And it's little strategies like that where they grenade instead of um, straight up pushing or they suppress and move together as a unit against single clones. Like they've been sort of playing it really smart for AI recently. So way to go to you four who have managed to survive and your fallen comrades. The flankers on the other hand have been slow to act with zero strategy and quite pathetically. Not a lot of praise for you fellas. <laughs> All right, there's some firing going on. I don't know quite where. Not over here. Perhaps it's the flankers? Uh, I don't even know where these guys are. Seems like a few died trying to go this way. How many are in here? Well, one died in here. It's kind of wild. Where is this firing? Oh, it's over here. Oh, okay, it looks like another flanker droid came up here. Starting to engage a little bit with some of these clones. These four finally made it all the way up here. They could round up this way, but then they'll be having four clones attacking them. Maybe if they grenade that guy, that would even the odds a little bit. But then these three are still going to be tough kills. So not totally sure what these droids are planning to do or if they'll be able to pull it off. Maybe if they got some reinforcements. <laughs> They could do it then, I don't know. Oh, this guy bravely pushes forward, gets slaughtered almost immediately. There goes three of them. <laughs> that was not uh, the droid's finest hour. Now this clone is rotating around to uh, fire at some flankers who are trying to come up once more, but getting pushed back pretty wholeheartedly. Yeah, there's one right there who's made his way forward. If they came together as a unit and just sort of took over this defensive position, and then engaged instead of going up like one or two at a time. That'd be a swell move, but instead they're going up one or two at a time. So it's not really working out. And these right flankers over here have not... This few guys over here have made it pretty far, but... Oh, they can actually go up this way, but they haven't. They just haven't, so... That's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. Oh, well, guten tag. They'll figure it out at the end. They, there's, they still got time, I mean... They still got time. Let's see. Let's check out how many clones there are. So there's like four here. There's maybe one, two, three left over here. So that's seven. Um, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Um... If my count is correct, then there are only 19 clones left alive. Oh my god, they finally did it. The flankers move together as a unit, and they're taking on the clones in unison. This is very impressive for the droids. I can't believe the mad lads actually did it. I can't believe they did it. My goodness. And here they are, in all their glory, getting shot at from multiple directions, and not really achieving anything in the end. So, perhaps my theory of their victory was a little off because they're just not managing to really get any kills here on these clones and the clones are managing to suppress these guys pretty good and get some solid kills on them so this is not looking too good for this flanking unit yeah they really are not achieving what I thought they might be able to that's kind of a shame maybe they'll get this guy here I don't know he's stayed alive though for quite a while well this droid has only hit him like two times out of 40 shots or something there we go he hit him a couple more times that time though Let's see, I want to see this combat in action. Get the kill, man. You got this. You got this. All right. Maybe they don't. Um, so is that it for troopers over here? Oh, no, there's still a few more over this way, like seven or eight, actually. That's not a bad amount. Oh, big push forward, but uh, immediately getting shut down by the clones. The clones are like, no, no, no. C'est pas de avance. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no promenade pas. No, no, no. 
that, that was terrible French. I don't know. I wish I still held on to my French skills a little better than I have. I've got a, I've got a few, few things. I, I can still talk a little bit, just not, I'm nowhere near fluent, but I always thought French was actually really fun, believe it or not. What's this? What's this? This guy's shooting over here. Ooh, a couple of these droids over here finally made it up. Oh my god. The flankers are coming through now at the end of the battle. We got like four over here taking on this. This one clone's like in such an optimal position. It's so easily defensible, so he's not going down like at all is insane and i think he's just able to heal up how many he's like got no health like one shot and he's dead but he does have 10 kills so this guy is kind of a baller not gonna lie i think he's ducking down to regenerate a little bit of health because you can regenerate health if you don't get shot for quite a while um and you can also utilize med packs too so like it's kind of impressive actually that this guy's managed to stay alive here we go he's popping up again He's also got the help of clones this way, too, so um, he's not alone. He's He's got some assistance. Oh, look at this. This droid's way up here now. He throws a grenade at our, our boy over there, who throws it back down. Not bad. He actually ducked out of the way there for some reason. Wow, that droid choked so hard. That was their opportunity to kill that guy. Wow. Are there more? There's still a lot of droids over this way. That's hilarious. And more down here. Yeah, most of these guys are dead again. Actually, like, all of them. Wow! At least we got a little bit of skirmishing. A little bit of skirmishing. There's been a lot of attempts at, like, um... At flanking in this battle. Like, a lot. There's been... The, the main flank, the original flank on that bridge, um, which has since failed. But that one was fairly successful, because they did get the kill on Bakara. So it was a semi-successful flank. And then you had, um, you know, both flanks. You had one flank over here and one flank over here, which was also fairly impressive. Um, but those have yet to really come through. Like, all of the flanks came at the wrong time. They just didn't correspond with the um, appropriate pushes by the droids, so they just didn't amount to too much. And now they're sort of left trying to pick up the pieces here, but ultimately sort of failing. But it is a very close battle, because if there's like 18 clones left and probably a similar amount of droids, so this is uh, this has been pretty good, I gotta say. What's this? There, oh, there are still flankers over here for the droids. There's like five or six of them over this way. You can look at the minimap. Blue are droids right now, red are um, clones, the minimap at the top left, I mean. So we got a lot of droids down here. Should we just sort of... Scoot these fellas up. Is it time? Are they just stuck there? I think they got themselves stuck on this thing. Wow, okay. Um, well, whoever can, try and get up this way, I guess. How'd you manage to get yourself stuck? Should we... Build them a bridge, I suppose? There you go. Now can you get over? hey -o! Yeah, you guys are welcome. So they got themselves stuck. Oh, these guys are stuck over here, too. See if we can uh, build them a bridge. All right. The ice forms very fast on Magito, guys. I didn't know if you knew that. Uh, so it was uh, uh, instant bridges. Well, this guy's just in the water. He's dead. Like, he's rusting down there for the next century. Um, but the rest of these droids, we can finally sort of order their way up here because... Um, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna order them to attack, but I'll I'll point them in the right direction so they can finally get underway. There's also three droids over here, which is kind of weird. Um, I guess we'll I, they might be stuck too. Who knows? These guys have actually been coming up on their own, so we'll let these guys continue to do their thing because they're they're some good noodles. Um, the rest of them, I would argue, are bad noodles. So we had to help them out a little bit. This attack for the stairs, oh, they finally did kill that clone over there. Um, but there's still these three clones who are balling out and just getting kill after kill as these droids try and push up here. Looks like a little bit of reloading going on by one of them, and it results in his death, but the officer and the other clone is still alive. They're also getting some supporting fire from these guys back here, it seems, which is good, or somewhere. 
Um, and they're managing to stave off this droid attack for the time being, but the droids are inevitably sort of making their way up there with this revamped attack. I suppose you could consider these to be reinforcements, but in all technicalities, they're not because they've been on this field the entire time. But, I mean, hey, I can't complain. At least the droids are finally doing what they're doing. Clones still sort of putting a full stop to them, though. The, um, they're really not making it too far, and they're getting chopped down pretty good. So, good to see for the clones, bad to see for the droids. I don't know, part of me almost wants the, um, the clones to win and just manage to hold the bridge, but also part of me is like, man, these droids have fought really hard to get to where they are. They, they deserve the win, you know? So, I don't know, I'm kind of tied between the two. Well, I guess I don't really have a bias, because I, I, I would like to see either one win. Um, and I think either one could still win, because the clones still have some tight defensive positions that in this 30-minute video, we have not seen the droids really surpass. Ooh, the flankers over here actually coming forward to get a piece of the action. The remaining, like, six over here, one of them goes down real quick there, but the other two are still managing to suppress these clones. These little foxholes, well, large foxholes, foxholes tend to be one single person in them, but, um, you know, these sort of bunk... Mm, well, they're not bunkers, but they're like, you know what I mean, like these large divots in the ground like these. It's nice because they've got um, l like a low dip in them plus rocks on top. So it's a really, it's like a trench, but not really because it's a bowl. I don't know. They're really good positions though for the clones. Like they, they're seriously helping the clones out immensely in all honesty. So these are tough positions for the droids to attack. Over here, the droids have sort of stopped their attack slightly. They have managed to push up quite a bit, but these three clones are holding out nicely. Um, though if these two droid units did attack simultaneously, we could see some serious damage to the clones. But they're taking this brief respite to sort of heal up. This guy's covering the healing boy in the back here. Ooh. Ooh, okay, this could be it for these guys up here. Oh, there goes one of them. The other two are still alive, and they're, they're a bit more covered. This guy was a bit more in the open. These two have this blockade in front of them. But here come the flankers a little bit more. Clones trying to respond with a little bit of fire over here. Not really managing to get a ton out, because these rocks are sort of blocking their way now. The droids seem to have found the juicy, nice positions. One more. Oh, both of these clones ended up going down. Okay, so we're down to the last sort of defensive bit here for the clone troopers. They've got four guys here. Um, two guys back here, two here, three here, um, oh, and another three here. Is this guy a roamer? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. He's just in a bad position. <laughs> One droid attacking them from that flanking position over this way, which, um, still has a few more droids that might be coming forward from it. All right. Oh, and these... These droids over here getting a little crafty and actually shooting down at the clones from above. That's a very good way to flush the clones from their defensive positions here. So the droids do technically have the high ground right now, which is a heck of an advantage for them. But the clones... Oh, good grenade. Good idea from that uh, clone right there. Duh. Didn't really connect with anyone. Yeah. But uh, it was a good idea. It was a good idea. All right, I think it's a very even battle right now, and really anyone could take the gold here. This is up for, honestly, anyone. This is anyone's game. It just depends on how each side plays it. If the clones manage to um, really solidify their defense and continue to get ongoing fire at the at the droids who are attacking them and get a lot of kills in the places where they need to, then they could win. But if the droids, um, you know, focus their efforts and their fire in the appropriate places, then they could win. So I think it's a very even match as it is right now. Clone's getting a lot of kills on these guys up on this hill though. So, um, you know, any block of droids having trouble in one position could result in their loss. And like, honestly, these six droids going down like that, that could, that could do them in. You never know. You really don't know. Oh man, so looking at the minimap right now, blue are the clones, red are the droids at the top left. Um, it's ve it's looking very even. That's all I can say. It is looking very even right now. Lots of grenades going up here from the clones, but that one gets rebounded back. This guy tries to get it away, but he ends up going down from it. He is just unconscious. I think he only took a... Uh, he probably lost half health from that or something like that. 
Another grenade going off. Ooh. That one hit another unconscious. That's a shame. All right. So grenades are not going to be how this is decided, apparently. Um, which is a shame. These clones still under a lot of pressure from the droids over here. This seems to be the main attacking point for the droids. They found this position and they liked it. So they're sort of sticking to it. And they are getting some good kills on these clones. They certainly are. And they're keeping it at a distance. And it seems like the majority of the clones actually left alive do only have DC-15Cs. Like, this guy has DC-15A. These guys all have DC-15Cs. So do these guys. Like, majority of the clones left alive have DC-15Cs. So, um, if the droids do keep it at a distance, then the clones are at a disadvantage because of that. So that'll be an interesting... Uh, aspect to this battle of course if the droids do make the mistake of coming really close range then uh, the clones will have the advantage because these dc 15 c's are powerful at close range and uh that may occur pretty soon here clones getting a lot of good fire off here so are the droids no one really taking the upper hand first to experience a few deaths in this little skirmish here could end up losing droids actually making a big push outwards and it's actually opening up these clones to fire into them this could be a mistake by the droids they thought they were doing well but no that the clones that just opened them up to cut down four droids right there and a couple more had already died in that position so that is a brutal brutal experience right there wow all right bad decision by the droids so that really cut down droid forces substantially right there now they've only got three there like three up here one or two up here i believe huh intense battle man this is actually honestly a very close one Droid up there actually firing down onto these clones over here who are trying to support these guys over this way um, instead of taking care of their own droid problem over here. I'd recommend they start shooting at this droid because even though he's got an extremely terrible weapon in E5, um, he could still eventually get the kill on this clone trooper, which uh, would be kind of sad, I have to say. For shizzle. For sheezy. Let's see going on over here these droids under a lot of fire they've got a little bit of rock cover here but if they get up to try and reposition they'll be gunned down and if they try and get up to fire they'll be gunned down they need like help maybe if these droids over here could push up but i have a feeling they probably won't man oh man also more fire coming in this way oh did one of the clones yeah that clone did die from that fire from above i, I told you It'll only be a matter of time before he gets shot down, and he got shot down. That is tough right there, boys. That is a real toughie. All right, it's all quiet right now. All quiet. Droids don't seem to know what to do. Clones holding their position stubbornly so that the droids are forced to make the tough decisions, which is well played by them. Well played. Well played indeed. Let's see. I don't know. We could see a big push. I don't know what's... Oh, these guys did end up standing up there. Oh, okay. I guess, uh... Oh! <laughs> Any movement, the clones fire, but then if the droids stop, they're, they're okay. It's like that game Museum, where, like, you, you, if you get caught moving, then you're out or whatever. Is that how that game's played? I can't remember. It's been probably a decade since I played that game. Oh! Yeah, these droids under a lot of fire. They got like a thin cropping of rocks that's sort of protecting their heads. And these droids up here not helping one bit. Oh my god, this is a long battle. My throat's like getting sore from talking this long. This guy's got a DC-15, eh? Alright. I got like a hot cocoa here, but it's like in a thermos, so it's really still boiling hot i made it like right before this video so that i could drink it while i made the video but it's still so hot i don't want to <laughs> oh the struggles the first world problems oh my god these four droids just won't die over here all right i think it's time we force the uh force the attack from the droids they're being kind of babies right now we're gonna force them to come over and uh and start their final assault on the clones so, um, see how this goes, I suppose. Well, that guy just sort of didn't stop to fire, which was interesting. Final amount of flankers coming up over here. 
These guys have been hiding in the ice the entire battle for the past 40 minutes. The possibly biggest babies of the battle, but I suppose they're coming through right now in the form of a solid assault. And they're getting a lot of fire out. They're actually suppressing these clones pretty good. They're in solid positions. If their friends off to the right here would aid in this assault, which it seems like a couple are actually crawling forward trying to, um, oh, they're trying to regroup with these droids back here. I don't know what they're doing, actually. <laughs> uh, droids kind of dropped the ball at the end here. I think they, um, they lost heart at the end of this battle. Ooh, clone death over there. Oh, another one. Still a lot of clones left alive, though. Ooh, another death. Wow, okay. Droid's kind of pulling off uh, the unexpected here. Wow, these three. These three stayed alive, man. They outdid those clones from a distance. Like I said. Like I said, don't mind me. I'm just stirring my hot chocolate. Hmm. All right, that's a good that's a good heat level for the hot cocoa. Let me let me guys know what you guys think. What are you a fan of hot cocoa? Do you like a good hot cocoa? I think um cocoa is a superior beverage. Quite delicious. Quite. All right, so there's like not that many droids. All of these droids in the ice are officially stuck like they're not coming forward. This guy can, though. This guy can come forward. Ooh, got a little push over here from the flankers. Oh, big push, big push, coming in. They're working on these clones a little bit more. Taking a lot of fire. Putting out a lot of fire, though. I don't know, this could be a good position. These guys are finally assisting a little bit. Finally. I, would, I could still see either one kind of winning this. It has been kind of tit for tat. Anytime the droids take a lot of losses, um, the clones then take a lot of losses after that. So, I don't know. Droids repairing themselves right here. Real quick. Real schwick. Hopefully the clones doing the same. I don't know. So there's still one officer back here. I assume he's the one in charge of the rest of this battle. There's one DC-15A clone back here. There's four clones right here. Still intact from, from the beginning. Two clones right here, one with the DC-15A. Um, that's it. No, wait, there's one clone right here. I never noticed this guy. He could get maybe a nice grenade off here. Oh, he's pulling it out. Mm. Nope, he got domed. Droids noticed him. Well done to the droids, kudos. These threes have been doing a, a fine job. Two of them have rifles, which might be aiding them in their fight here, because they're a bit longer range. The one without the rifle just went down, though. I don't know. They're taking a lot of heat right now. Also got a friend back here helping him out with another rifle. E5 trooper died. E5 rifle trooper. E6s are still going strong, though. There's still a lot of clones. I'm thinking more and more this is going to be a clone win. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. Man, oh man. I'm running out of things to say. It's just the same skirmish over and over again at this point. Just sort of a back and forth. I don't know, I think it's been a pretty interesting battle. Considering we went from an epic, large-scale, huge assault in the very beginning to this sort of guerrilla-style... Not really even guerrilla, but more of scattered skirmishing towards the end. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I like it when battles progress like this because it's a bit more realistic when you think about it. Like um, starting off with a large scale assault and then eventually the battle sort of changing into more strategic and minute things happening. And I think that's often common in warfare. At least from battle descriptions I've seen and things like that of modern times and stuff. All right. Well, what say we just push the last few droids forward here? Because, quite frankly, this video has been going on for 45 minutes and I have homework to do. So, 
I would actually love to just be able to sit here and oh, oh they're going this way. Oh, they're they're meeting up first. Strength and numbers, boys. Way to go. Was smart thinking. And now they're going this way. Okay. Um, I would actually love to just sort of sit here and watch this play out for the next. I, it could last another 10, 20 minutes, but um, I do have some other things I got to do. So it's best to just sometimes hurry it along. Droids sort of crawling forward. Oh, one gets knocked out quick. The others. Um, begin to skirmish a little bit, getting some fire off at these clone troopers, um, but getting knocked out. Yeah, they just don't have the numbers at this point. They didn't for the past, I'd say, five minutes or so to win. Um, but they gave it the old college try. There we go. That's the end of the droid army. The clones snatch a successful victory here with uh, a squad of soldiers remaining. That's it. This was an insane... This is it. This is all that's left. Three, eight. Eight soldiers. That is insanely close. That's honestly one of the closest battles we've ever had, considering how many troopers both sides started out with. Um, pretty cool, I think. Uh, let's see. This guy's got three kills. This guy's got one. This guy's got zero. This guy's got two. This guy's got two. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. This guy's got, none. This guy's got four. Everyone sort of pulled their weight here during this battle. We can actually see the deaths right now if we want to. Um, so yellow are dead clones, red are dead droids, and there's dead from both sides basically everywhere. Um, this was a long battle with lots of tolls taken. Um, pretty fascinating. I, I sincerely enjoyed this battle, and I hope you guys did too, because um, that's the whole goal of these videos, is to entertain you all, and um, yeah, so... Thank you guys so much for the support lately, by the way. Um, we're closing in. I think by the time this video is released, we'll have had 63,000 subs for a little while. Um, which is just crazy. Like, I don't know, man. One of the... Okay, I I sometimes watch um, Pokemon collecting channels because I, I like... I, I have a little Pokemon card collection going on. I know it's a little kiddish, but I enjoy it. I think there are some beautiful artworks out there, and it's very nostalgic for me. So uh, there's a channel called Pokey Soup, and he had like 61,000 subs. Um, he stopped uploading, but like when I was watching him when he was uploading, that was like he was like a YouTuber, you know? Like he had banger videos, he had dope content, things like that. And I was like, man, that's pretty cool. And now I have more than him, which is so crazy. Um, I still consider myself, a like a tiny minuscule channel. And then every once in a while I'll get like this rush of support in the comments and things like that. And I'm like, wow, there's actually like a community out there, like who enjoy my content and find pleasure in watching me do this. Um, and it's just an insane feeling. And I want to say thank you guys sincerely because, um, I still feel like I'm not that big, but then every once in a while I'm like, wow, okay, I've, I sort of made it, you know? And that's such a, a humbling thing to have a fan base. And um, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. I'm going to keep on trying to deliver some of that spicy content that you guys enjoy. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I hope you continue to enjoy it. And if it ever gets bland or old, I promise to switch up the formula and try some new stuff. Um, so yeah, just wanted to say that. Um, and I really hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.